Hi, my name's Sam Bowen, and I'm founder of SendingMuseums.org. Museums are magical places which can present meaningful moments of wonder and experiences for people, everybody. I'd really like to share with you in this film how you can make that possible for families and schools with SEND children. Children with special educational needs and disability, or SEND, account for 9% of the children in the UK. When you add their non-disabled siblings, the figure of children impacted by poor accessibility could be nearer to 20%. We know that family visits to museums are an important part of our audience profile, as are schools, but sadly the SEND market is still under-resourced and underrepresented in the museum visits. For us to find somewhere that is completely inclusive of everyone's needs, it is very tough because I think to incorporate safe spaces, reasonable adjustments, things like the, the sensory pack, that is an effort that somebody has consciously made to validate what your needs are and say, do you know what? We recognise that you need these adjustments to enjoy this all together as a family. The SEND families that come and visit, it's great to be able to interact with them and sort of see the impact that the resources that we provided are making on those families. Lots of places in society aren't welcoming and accessible to those groups, so being able to provide experiences and spaces that are calm and inviting for groups with those needs, yeah, it's something that we take lots of pride in. When museums become SEND welcoming, they shine a light on disability in a positive way and can become beacons of hope within their communities and a safe space. A place where everyone can come together and join in equally and be present at the same time. So we developed a fidget backpack uh, for visitors into the museum for use with families and with schools. We talked a lot with a SEND family to work out the best resources for using in the, that backpack. I had a lot of ideas from my previous experience as a teacher, but wanted to refine it to, uh, for use by families within the museum. Um, it's also used with schools. Um, they come and they borrow it for children within their classes or for entire SEND classes. It was a lot of development, a lot of time to develop these resources, a lot of research um, and a lot of conversations with the family that we use as our mentors, as it were, for, for developing this. We have a PEC style um, board that we use for um, visitors to use. It's within the backpack and it has picture symbols within it that are the symbols from our map. So it matches directly with our map. They pick the places they want to visit and they add it to the Velcro board. It's already helping me. What do you like about it? Um, it's the sense of freedom what you get. By sitting here, planning a room, we can like go to places he wants to go, and then on the way round he might find something else that might be of interest for him. So it's nice to have, to let him lead the journey today. Believing that everyone is welcome and has a right to be a museum visitor is key to creating real change. Listening to and including lived experience from SEND parents, carers, teachers and the young people themselves is key to developing authentic and meaningful changes that can improve inclusion and access. I'd say that Oscar's visit here today has been in two halves. I think he took the first few minutes to regulate and he needed his iPad to comfort. He did visit the sensory pack a little bit, um, but he used the puppet, I think, as a, um, as a distraction as well. And what I noticed was he slowly left the iPad behind and he was exploring on his own. So I think it's been really good for him. Wow, we're going up these amazing stairs. Oscar, we're going up the amazing staircase. Exploring. Can you see? Oh. He drinks in so much information and memorises so much. It's because a lot of it, you can't change it. It's history, it's, it's nature. It's all those things that are unsafe to him outside that he wants to explore. 
all kind of put in somewhere that's safe so he can explore that in his own time. So really special for us museums, becoming more and more so actually for him. In places like museums, Oscar likes to just have freedom to explore. And what I found what he'll do is he'll drink in loads of information very quickly. And then once he's regulated, he decides what he'd like to go back to and explore. I think in museums, it's really good to have places where you can actually stop and just be, rather than being in a queue and kind of feel like you're being pushed around in this place where you're not allowed to touch anything. So it's definitely for him about being able to feel part of it and not people not being worried about whether you sit on the floor and read a book or touch something. My name's Mario Grady. I'm a collections and learning assistant at the Beanie House of Art and Knowledge. Um, so I work with all sorts of visiting groups. And um, today we welcomed a SEND group from a local um, school. And we explored the museum in a sensory way. So we uh, focused on Bagpus as a focus and uh, we had lots of sensory objects that helped us explore the museum and uh, the collection that's on display in the different galleries. Would you like to meet Bagpus? Very famous. <laughs> At the Beanie, we're focused on health and well-being, so we work hard to try and make the spaces and our experiences warm and welcoming and accessible and inclusive. It's really rewarding having a job where you're working very directly with the community and you're seeing instantaneously that you're having an impact, providing an experience, making people calm and happy. And so working with Send Group gives you that sense that, you know, you are making a difference. <laughs> Although that sounds like a cliche, that is something that's really important to keep you motivated and um, yeah it's important to remember that's that's why we're here and you should take pride in being part of making that happen. My favourite one is ne uh, the next one uh, we, we um, we're, uh, I'm going to take you guys on. What's the next one? The dinosaurs. It's important for everybody working in the museum to believe that visitors with SEND and their families and the school groups are welcome there and deserve to be in that museum space just as much as anybody else. Learning is so many different forms and it means so many different things to different people. And museums are there for everybody and can welcome them in their own way. My, that's one of my favourite dinosaurs is the pterodactyl. Our website holds a lot of information about access within the, the museum, but it meant that we can share this information in an easily accessible way before people come and visit. Um, we also have a walkthrough of the museum on there um, so that people can see, again, before they come to visit, that pre-visit information is very important for them. Listening to and including lived experience from SEND parents, carers, teachers and the young people themselves is key to developing authentic and meaningful changes that can improve inclusion and access. We as a sector know that this is a case with other audiences and we are experienced in challenging the perceptions in society about difference and othering. It's time now to do this for SEND. Visit www.sendinmuseums.org to learn how to do this and plan to make this the audience your museum engages with next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.